vegetable. Here's the throttling, and he knows. Just feel there. He doesn't have to take the money out and show it to his friends. He just shakes the box and says, Feel that? It's mine. Hear that? It's mine. Hear that? It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. What happens later? You think about it, because I'm in a hurry. Keep the box for me. Let us do something with it together. The fourth matchbox was given to Shmulik. And Shmulik has a sister called Blumke. He's got lots of friends and all kinds of lovely things. You know, there are important things in the world, but unimportant things too. There are things girls need. Those boys need. A matchbox is useful for a boy and for a girl too. Shmulik looked around and chose four things in return for the box. Then he swapped two things for others. He swapped and he swapped the device. Suddenly he has lots of things and also a coin he got from Haven. Shmulik has got a very good head on his shoulders. He knows how to do business. He knows how to talk to people and to persuade them. And if he wants something, he usually gets it. If not today, then tomorrow, the day after. <laughs> the children don't like him very much. But they always <laughs> ask his advice. The fifth <laughs> matchbox was given to Shaika. And Shaika went out into the yard and began showing a flip in the book. He took me. The, the picture on it, and at the same time, Aharon was also in the yard, and Aharon said, a matchbox is nothing, rubbish, big deal, you can throw it right into the garbage. If you like, you think about what Shaike might have answered him, how they both quarreled, ah, 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 and how they both pulled the box, how it was trampled underfoot, and how Shaike and how his mother shouted at Aharon. You hooligan, bandit, robber, thief! And that is Aharon's mother, such a child's mother. Why are you interfering? It was a long story, a very long one. You could write a whole book about it. Think what to write about. And I'll tell you about the sixth matchbox of Rhein. Because Rhein did something completely different. He put his matchbox, took his matchbox home. He didn't show it to anyone. He didn't tell anyone about it. Not even his big brother Israeli, or little Tlohale, or baby Shendale, because they might steal it. Or even the spoil it or even steal it. He took his matchbox and put it into his pocket. Later he took it out and put it in the cupboard. Later he took it out and put it under the bed. And finally put it in a hidden corner in the cupboard. But that wasn't all. Try to think how this story might have ended. But don't tell it. <laughs> the soul. <laughs> The seventh matchbox was given to Isaac, and Isaac loves lollipops. And at the same time, Jacob happened to have one. about what Jacob might have answered him, how they both looked at the box. <laughs> and now Isaac said, you, you're very clever. You're bargaining with me, and the lollipop is still in your mouth. <laughs> and you're sucking it, and it's getting smaller and smaller all the time, and soon there'll be nothing left. <laughs> Jacob really is very clever. Right? He wants to let Isaac have a leak from his lollipop in return for the box, right? 
Uli Mehdi Mel, two weeks? One and a half. You want to do that? The name is Zalifa, but only on one condition. The key, Jacob, keep hold of it. Because you can have either a long thing or a short thing. That's not fair. What is I fix the Zalifa and run away. Oh, no. I need to get Take the box and try to write an end for this story. Thank you. <laughs> the eighth and the ninth matchboxes were given to Moses and Israel. And Moses and Israel had a dream of coming to Israel. But all they had were two matchboxes. So what did they do? Out of one matchbox they made a ship. It will take them to Israel. And out of the second one they made an orange grove, just like in Israel. That's how they played all summer for two whole months. All the children in the yard played with them, and even the children from the other yards, each one gave whatever he or she had into the game. Labor brought a stamp from Israel. Sarale brought suitcases for the children. Moses' mother cut out Jewish pioneers from paper. Israel's father, he was a cobbler, gave them some nails. And those became the pirates. And the pirates tried to attack the sheep. And the children hid the sheep with the stamp. The sheep was saved and the pirates were beaten off. Then the children gave the gatekeeper a cigar. This was <clears throat> a long story too. The gatekeeper gave them in return a spade and let them dig a sheep, a pit in the shape of a sheep. They were placed there for captain and ten passengers. And they were placed there for captain and ten passengers. And they hoisted their flag, and they had tickets to Tel Aviv and Haifa, and each day they gave the ship a new name. Jerusalem, Kinneret, all of the places in Israel where they had a brother or a sister. And when they arrived to Israel, Sarale tied little stones with a thread to a bush, and those were oranges spent shadows in Israel. Then the children wrote letters to their parents so that they shouldn't have to worry. And there was a famous violinist, just like in Israel. Then the children built a museum. In the museum there was a little ship made out of a matchbox. The tenth and the last matchbox was Yostis. In memory. Fiosti, who did not make it to Israel. We all know that out a game like that, that started with the matchbox and lasted for two whole months with captain and bad passengers and the flag and pirate attacks. We all know that about a game like that, you could write a whole book. So try and write. You, and you, and you, all of you, try and write something new, something more. I know you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. And now, we will tell the story again together, just like I used to do with the children at the orphanage. Remember again, tell who goes to learn his better present?